All right, well, hello, everyone. Thank you for taking a few minutes to spend some time to learn about what we're doing around the world today. I am Ryan Benson, and New Bayades is the group that was formed by a group of leaders in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm just proud to be a part of it. So what I'd like to do today is just spend a few moments to give and share with you my experience with them. And I also want to talk today about the truth about your wealth, the truth about your health, and uh, well, we have some interesting ways to do that. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 24 years old, and this is my lovely girlfriend, Laura, who I met in Paris uh, three years ago while we both happened to be on vacations at the same time over there. And so we kind of ever since then, we've just been back and forth in between Argentina and California, where I used to live. I now live in Miami currently. Um, but back in August of 2013, I moved to Argentina and lived there for a year. And during my time there, I was able to find a job working for an American company that was, you know, like transporting vehicles. You know, like if you wanted to move your car from, I don't know, L.A. to New York, I would put a price on it and, you know, give you the deal. But um, they were paying me under the table and they were paying me the equivalent of about $500 a month, which, I mean, even in Argentina is not a lot of money. So in a moment of crisis, I flew back to Davis, back to California after a year. And, but a few weeks before leaving Argentina, I was introduced to this company by a friend from New Bayadis, which changed my life. And in that moment, you know, Laura and I, we were paying for so many plane tickets and, you know, we weren't able to pay anymore because we were almost pretty much in debt. And so that day when I left Argentina, we didn't even know if we were going to see each other again, which, I mean, that sucks. And so at that time, you know, we had this certain, you know, job, this vehicle that, and that necessity to get another plane ticket. And we worked hard for about a month. Uh, thanks to our team down there in Argentina. And, and Laura came back to California in October and we went to the uh, convention. And that's where this picture is from in October in Utah. And then I went back to Argentina and Uruguay in January and February. So, and now Laura just came here a couple months ago to Miami and I moved here as well. So we're here living together in Miami. And, you know, that's when we really started to feel the freedom that this business gave us. And I just had the most amazing experience along the way. So I'm not sure if any of you have seen one of these before, but this is a job classification quadrant. And essentially there are four types of people in the world. So for example, you have your basic employee. Um, let's just use uh, a doctor at a hospital as an example. Uh, and then you have someone who's self-employed. So that might be um, a doctor who owns their own medical office or owns their own medical clinic, something like that. Then you have an entrepreneur, uh, somebody who would own their own hospital. And then you have your an investor who pays people to own or open their own hospitals. Uh, on the left side is where 95% of the population falls into. You're basically trading your time for your money hence getting a linear salary. And usually when those type of people, you usually only have time or money. It's very, very rare that you have both and a lot of both. Uh, for example, when you're an employee, you could be working, I don't know, 20 to 30, 40 hours a week. And you might have a little extra time. You might have that extra time to do some things, be with your friends, be with your family, uh, go out and see things, but you don't have the money to do it because you don't work so much. Um, and then you have somebody who's self-employed, so you might own your own business. You might own your own restaurant or you know, anything along those lines. So you might be actually getting a lot of money from that. But since you're a business owner and you're you know, self-employed, you don't have a lot of time to enjoy your life. You might be making the money, but you just don't have the time at all. So to pass over to the other side, and become that other 5%, usually you would need to invest, you know, an absurd amount of money or write a, a catchy song that makes it to the top of the iTunes charts, like 
overnight, something like that. But I mean, come on, let's face it. The chances of any of those things happening are pretty low. Um, so I'm going to show you how to become one of those 5% who have a residual income. You know, those are the ones that are making money in their sleep. They're not even working. They're making money. They're on vacation and they're making money. They're getting checks. So only 5% of the people in this world do that. And I'm going to show you how to get to that side. And those types of people have lots of time and lots of money to enjoy lots of their lives. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is pretty great. So you can work hard one time, you know, maybe that's three years, five, seven, maybe 10 years. It all depends your activity and the business, your energy level, your consistency. So uh, you're going to work hard one time and then there's going to come a day or a moment in the development of your business when you are just not central anymore to the creation, growth or income. Uh, but it can continue to flow into your bank account literally for the rest of your life. So here we have uh, these numbers that come from the Social Security Administration and the U.S. Bureau of the Census. And this is what happens to 100 people at the age of 65. So if you take a cross-section of 100 people in the United States at age 65, this is what you find. 16 people are dead. They didn't even make it to 65. About two-thirds, 66 people, are dead dead broke. They're basically starving. They didn't understand that two thirds or they didn't understand that social security was not their whole retirement program. It was just a supplemental program. 13 people there are surviving retirement, you know, 30 to $60,000 a year of income. Not a lot of fun, but they're okay. They're living. Five people out of the 100 have made it to a point where they are 60,000 up to 100, 200,000 dollars a year of income. You know, they were successful enough to have put away enough money to have for retirement. And then there's the 1% that are considered truly wealthy. And that's 10 million dollars of net worth excluding all debt. And if you don't have that, you're not really wealthy. And that's a pretty small number. And if you don't believe these numbers, or you believe somehow they're not accurate, I'll just have you remember that in January of 2013, when President Obama was having this big argument about, you know, hey, we've got to tax the wealthy people, we've got to tax the top 2%. So I just want you to remember that, you know, the federal government of the United States has admitted that really only 2% of the people make a lot of money in this country. And we have 1% here that are wealthy and they're worth more than $10 million. And there's a saying that success leaves clues. So I wanted to find out who the 1% was and I wanted to pick their brains and I find out how they did it. So I could figure out how to mimic or replicate what they did. So on the right side here is a cross section of just the 1%. And this is how they did it. 10% were CEOs at public companies. You know, they got stock options and bonuses, made them worth more than $10 million. The other 10% were the top professionals, you know, lawyers, doctors, but the very top, not the run of the mill, average, regular, you know, doctors or lawyers. These were at the top of their profession and it made them worth more than $10 million. And then you have the that five percent there were super salespeople, you know, your top bond traders on Wall Street, top real estate agents, top stockbrokers, top life insurance people. That would be that group right there. And the one percent is what I would call the lucky DNA club. And most of us didn't really get lucky DNA. You know, we aren't athletes, we aren't entertainers, you know, we're not LeBron James. We're not going to get rich like that. So when you look at these slices of the pie, you might get depressed and say, you know, okay, I don't fit into any of those and, you know, I'm, I'm never going to make it. And well, that's right. You really, you don't fit into any of those. And if you don't, you're toast, you'll never make it financially. But then you look over at the 74%. That right there is the good news about the wealthy 1%. The vast majority of people who achieved wealth, $10 million in net, $10 million net worth or more did it by owning their own business. 
So I think we have to form an agreement before we proceed. And the agreement for everyone listening, I think, would be to admit that you can never really make it financially working for someone else because because you have no leverage on your boss. You know, you can't demand 10 times your salary. You know, other people will take your job and they'll get rid of you and they just can't afford you doing that. So, you know, you might stop and you think about this and you just say, you know what, you're right. I'll pay my bills. I'll survive. I might get vacation. I might have some benefits or something, but I mean, honestly, guys, beyond that, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, just look around at the people you, you know closely, the, the parents of the kids that you grew up with, and you'll realize that these numbers are true. And, you know, if you have any hope of having financial security or freedom or sustaining yourself with a great retirement, you really got to pay attention right now to what I'm describing to you because you really only have a couple of choices. You can buy or start your own business, or you can build a network. And there's lots of different kinds of businesses, but they've all got these features. They have large startup costs. They have lots of risks and they have a high failure rate. Over 70% of all new businesses fail within the first five years and then more fail after that. And some make it and actually become a part of the 74% of the people that become wealthy. But when businesses fail, you lose everything, your retirement, your savings, the money you borrowed, you know, everything else in your life has gone bad. And if you're over the age of 40, you've got to think long and hard about taking those risks because those kinds of risks are fatal in most cases because you blow your money, you blow your savings, you blow your retirement. And now you got to struggle to pay people back and try to save enough of a nest egg that you can have some sort of I don't know, dignity to have a reasonable retirement. And then after that, you're just out of time. You had a runway for all that to happen. So in order to start a successful business, you need to know the current market trend. And right now, this is what's happening in the world. We have an aging population. Uh, what contributes to this market? Health and wellness, anti-aging, technology and communication to go along with that, and having a supplemental income to enjoy your life. So many of today's top companies are adapting to these trends and some aren't. Uh, for example, I'm, her, I'm sure you guys have heard of a Fuji film at some point in your life. Um, and you might have also heard of Kodak. Well, I'm sure you probably haven't heard of Kodak recently because in 2012, Kodak went bankrupt. However, Fuji film did not. You know why? Because they opened up a line of skincare products, you know, in wake of this aging population, this Astolift line of creams, anti-aging creams, uh, makes over 60% of their annual revenue. Fujifilm, this camera company, electronic camera company, came out with creams and, and they found out that they can survive in this market just by that. While Kodak did not adapt and do anything, went bankrupt. Other companies, Coca-Cola with their new Coke Life, you know, it markets towards a a natural, green, healthier Coke. I mean, it's still Coke, you gotta think. Um, and then you have McDonald's. They started opening up these green McDonald's. I mean, it's weird to see these companies, you know, with their unhealthy products or, pro you know, products that have nothing to do with uh, an aging population, <laughs> Fujifilm, you know? Um, but they, they're marketing towards a health and wellness direction. And also in September of 2013, Google, that's right, Google invested, you want to know how much they invested in this company, Calico? They invested $1.5 billion into this healthcare company, Calico, uh, basically with a goal to combat aging and health and well-being, longevity, etc. I mean, who would have thought Google, of all companies, would look into anti-aging? You know, Because they understand the current market. They know what's going to be happening in the future. So, I mean, if a company like Google is going along with this, I'm sure you guys must be interested right now to what, what I'm going to be talking about next. So to get going uh, with this, you'll need two things, two necessities right here. And, and here at New Vitas, we are working with the current market trends. So we have the guidance to help you financially. And you'll also need a financial vehicle, which is the company NewSkin. 
Uh, New Skin has been in business for 30 years. They opened up in 1984. They are open in 53 countries all over the world, uh, soon to be 54 this year after we open up in Chile. They uh, trade publicly on the New York Stock Exchange. Their symbol right there is NUS. They are a part of Forbes magazine, uh, top 100 most trustworthy companies. They were the American Business Awards winners in 2010, which are the Steve Jobs Awards. Um, so, I mean, they are a very reputable company. So I'm going to show you a little more information about them so we can explain a little bit more about what we do. Uh, so here we have, I'm going to show some documents that are from Dun & Bradstreet. And Dun & Bradstreet is a, a firm that ranks the top companies that publicly trade on Wall Street. So here we have 5A3, which is the third highest level. So you would have 5A2 and then 5A1 being the highest level. So in 5A3, you have, for example, Toyota. Uh, I mean, Toyota is a huge company. They uh, you know, sell millions of cars a year and they make billions of dollars a year. They're practically in every country. But here they are in one of the third highest level on Dun & Bradstreet. Uh, the second level, we actually don't have the documents for because these cost about $1,500 a piece. So we just picked out the good ones. <laughs> but in the second level, you have the likes of uh, you know, McDonald's and Coca-Cola, Disney, such. So in the first level, the highest level in Dun & Bradstreet, uh, there's only four companies. And recently, FedEx just got there. So you have FedEx as one of them. The other three are Microsoft. Again, an enormous company, very important company, Microsoft for businesses. Um, the other one you might have guessed it is Apple. You know, they're taking over the technological world, so they're definitely going to be up there on the highest level. And the only other company up here besides those other three is New Skin Enterprises, based out of Provo, Utah. Um, and to be even on this list in Dun & Bradstreet, you know, you have to say how much you're going to make every year. You have to go out and actually make that amount of money every year. You have to come out with a certain number of products every year. You know, all these companies are extremely innovative and profitable. And, you know, I'm just going to show you a little bit more here about New Skin. Here we have the Innovation Center, which is located in Provo, Utah, just outside of Salt Lake City. I went there and visited in uh, October last year for the America's Convention, and this place is spectacular, very modern. It's one of the most incredible uh, labs or you know centers for innovation I've ever seen. It's, it's amazing. Uh, they just opened up this new one in Shanghai, China, which was designed by the same designers who are uh, building the new Apple lab. I think that's opening in Arizona, I want to say. I'm not too sure about that, so don't cite me on that. Uh, they also have these experience centers around the world, too. Here's one in Bogota, Colombia. I think there's one in New York. I think there's one in Switzerland, I want to say, as well. Uh, so, I mean, they have these just experience products that NewSkin has. So, with NewSkin, they found the way to, the best way to fight anti-aging was from its source. So, to fight this new aging population, was to find it uh, from its source, which was the genes. And epigenetics is the study of genetic expression. So instead of cosmetic cover-ups or you know, creams that only fight the signs or symptoms of aging, NuSkin went above and beyond and targeted aging at its source, which was at the genetic level. Um, so here in this next slide, I'm going to show you uh, a 30-year study that was done by some scientists on two identical monkeys. These are both the same species. They're both the same age, the same gender. Uh, they have the same genetics. So the one on the left has died while the one on the right survived. And you can see how different they look as well. So why is it that these two monkeys can have, they're practically the same monkey, they can have the same genes, but end up entirely different? Because this study, after 30 years, the scientists could prove that just changing the genetic expression, you know, they studied the epigenetics, they studied how to just change how the genes were expressed. Not the actual genes, but just how they were expressed. They could activate certain ones that were not active anymore. You know, like when you get older, those younger genes aren't expressed. That's how you get gray hair. That's how you get wrinkles. 
uh, saggy skin. That's how you get all those things, uh, less energy. So they went and changed those genes and how they were expressed so they can be expressed again. And that monkey on the right survives. Um, so in order to do that, they had to use this gene chip that was made by LifeGen Technologies that Nuskin acquired. And this is basically what Nuskin is based on. And each one of these little bars right here shows a certain cluster of genes and how they're expressed at different levels. So on the left, uh, the most left one right there is when you're a younger person, you know, under the age of 25. So you can see uh, most of your genes are, are being expressed. In the middle is someone who's elderly, uh, maybe past their, their 40s, I would say. Uh, and you could see that everything switches. You have less genes that are being expressed. And the one on the right is when they go back and they use that gene chip and they activate the ones that weren't being expressed before uh, at an older age, and they could you know, reset it, like how you would reset uh, or update your computer or update apps on your phone. And it updates them and it makes them run faster and quicker like they were younger, if that makes sense. So if you'd like to check out more uh, about the science behind New Skin's products, I really advise you to check out the Discovery Channel episode, uh, which is DNA the Next Wave. You can just type that into YouTube and find it. And it actually features Dr. Joseph Chang, who is the chief scientific officer of New Skin. He is one of 75 others that scientists that are on staff at New Skin. And he was actually, uh, Dr. Chang was a part of the group that helped with the first cloned animal, Dolly the sheep. So, and he's our chief scientific officer. So I, I definitely advise you to check out uh, that episode. He is featured on that Discovery Channel episode. So um, you'll see it there. And here we have AgeLock. AgeLock is the, the technology that's behind many of the products that targets uh, youth gene clusters and it targets the sources of aging and dramatically diminishes the appearance of aging. And you know, here are just um, a few of the products. There's over 200 products on the website and you know in the middle there you have the galvanic facial and body spa that gets rid of wrinkles and cellulite as well and you can see a difference in literally five minutes and the gels that you use can only be used with those devices as well there's also other creams and gels that get rid of wrinkles and saggy eyes you know hold up your the skin on your face a little more they produce more elastin and there's also the tr90 up there on the left which is a new 90-day uh, weight or dietary supplement that absolute, has absolutely no rebound effect. It's the first one in the world to have no rebound effect. So like you would, uh, other programs like that, you know, you would get after a certain amount of months or, you know, years down the line or something, you gain that weight back. But with this, it, it targets it at a genetic level. So when you lose the weight, you're just losing fat. You're not losing muscle. Uh, you keep the muscle but losing the fat and you won't gain that fat back. Um, so you can see here some of the results. Um, you know, these are after just five, 10 minutes. Um, this is that the weight program, the weight loss program TR90. You can definitely see a difference. You know, there's no, it's very natural. It's a re, there's no rebound effect. So, I mean, you can see that it's, you know, you look like a normal person, not somebody who just, you know, lost a couple hundred pounds, you know, it, it does well. Um, so with new skin, you can start out how to make money here. There's, there's one of two ways. And one of the ways is to become a, a distributor. And you can start by just uh, finding people who are interested in buying products. Uh, what you do is you make a free account online, you get your own ID number. So when you have customers or clients that want to buy some products, they will call New Skin or just go online to order them and they will have to use your ID number. So you really don't have to do anything besides give them your ID number and you receive a 5% commission on what they purchase. So, I mean, not a lot of money involved in that. Um, so as we talked about earlier, the other way to be successful here is to have your own business, right? to create your own franchise. So, I mean, you have to think um, that to open your own franchise here, you know, franchise, for example, a Starbucks, a Subway, a McDonald's, a Burger King, those are franchises. 
uh, you would need to invest at least a million dollars. Um, I mean, just to think how, how long it would take to recoup that million dollars, um, who knows how long it, it would take. It could take years and years to do that. And with New Skin, you can open your franchise from the lowest level. And to have your own franchise is to become an executive with New Skin and do the executive career. So the quickest way to become an executive is like this. You need to get 4,500 points in the first three months when you start. And New Skin uses points because they're in 53 countries all over the world that are using different currencies. So a point system is just the easiest way to manage that. And you can also open uh, your business or your franchise in other countries as well and get paid the exact same amount. So when you want to do the executive career, uh, you need to send in the LOI, which is the letter of intent. And in order to do that, you need to invest at least a thousand points. Um, and here, one point is basically one dollar. So the amount of investment here is very small. And you can you know, keep everything. You can keep the products that you know you buy a kit from, or um, and you also get them from opening up other franchises and having other executives as well. And you get to choose who you want to work with, your associates and your partners, who you want to work with to have your team. Um, so the best way to do this, you know, first month is invest your 1,000 points. The second month you go out and find two people to get your 1,500 points. I mean, that's only two people in a month, easy. Second month or last month, third month, you get another two people and, you know, there you have four people on your team and right then and there, you're an executive, you get 4,500 points, easy. Uh, so once you get those within the first three months, you're an executive, you'll get paid uh, 9 to 15% commission plus bonuses, and you can become an ex executive as quickly as you want. I mean, for example, I did it in a month. I know people who have done it in two weeks. I've known people who have done it in a day. So it is possible. Anything's possible with this. It just depends how fast you want to do it. Um, but I mean, the average is about, you know, anywhere from one to three months, I would say. So... Once you have found your partners who you want to do the same executive career as yourself, um, and once one has also become an executive, for example, here, that's when you have your own franchise. And you get paid about $200 for each executive, each franchise that you have. But Newskin says, okay, well, you can't just get commission on every one of those under the first line of executives. Uh, so what you have to do is go out and help your other teammates, the other partners that you uh, wanted to start with and help them become executives. Then you make under the second layer uh, below you. So when you have two to three, you're a lot piece executive. You make under the second layer 5%, $200 at each executive um, plus nine to 15, sorry, nine to 15% commission on the entire volume and the number of points. And then you go out and help the next two people become executives. Then you make the third layer underneath you at 5% plus, again, $200 at each executive. And it just keeps going. So you help, you go out and find another two people. You're an Emerald executive. You make it all the way down to the fourth layer and so on and so forth. You, know, you find the next four people. Then you're a Diamond executive. You make them at the fifth layer. And then you have a blue diamond executive. I mean, you go out and find three more people. And that's when you're making, that's when you start to see that residual income. Um, and then you, the highest level here is team elite. There's really no peak. There's really no highest level or highest rank in this company. You can have as many executives as you want. Um, so what's good about this too is, you know, you can make more money than the person above you as well. You know, that's a lot of people get confused by that. But, you know, you can't you can actually make more money than the person above you and the person below you can make more money than you can. And once you're a team elite, that's when you start to see that residual income. You get 10 percent of all your volume at the, at the sixth level, plus two hundred dollars every month at each executive uh, that you have. So and each level here, the, the monthly income increases exponentially. So when you're like a gold 
executive, which is when you have one executive, you make about, I think it's about $800 a month. When you're a Ruby executive, which is when you have four to five, you make anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500 a month. When you're a Diamond executive, you make around $10,000. And when you're a Blue Diamond, you make anywhere from thirty dollars to $50,000 a month. Not a year, a month. You know, when you're Blue Diamond, you're making over half a million dollars a year. And that's just by having 12 to 14 executives under you. Simple, right? And that's not a lot of people to go out and talk to and contact. Um, so with New Skin, they have this, this four-step plan that basically says that you can be uh, a self sustain you can have a retirement in it four years. So your first year, you, you become your executive. You also become Ruby. You help those four team members, those teammates become executives. You're a Ruby executive. You go on a success trip. The second year, you become an Emerald executive. The third year, the Diamond. And the fourth year, Blue Diamond. Um, and I know somebody who is a Diamond executive, and, and he did it in a year and a half. So, I mean, and here, Newskin says you can easily do it in three years. And that's, you know, easily. So... Um, and with new skin, they have these success trips as well. So if you qualify by September 30th to, uh, become a Ruby executive, which is when you have those four executives under you. So your four associates that you start out with, if all four of them are executives, including yourself, then before September 30th, then you get to go on an all paid for vacation to Maui in March 7th to the 12th of next year, everything's paid for, airfare, hotel, they'll give you a couple hundred bucks to even spend at, you know, on the trip. And they got all these like cool events uh, to do on your own, you know, they'll pay to go hiking or things like that. It's, it's an awesome incentive that, that New Skin provides. And they do these every six months. So the last one was to Punta Cana, which is in the Dominican Republic. And the one before that, was also in Hawaii and then the one that's coming up next which is the one before this one the Maui one uh, they're going on a, a week-long cruise in Alaska so they do these as incentives but they're amazing because they're all paid for and you don't have to spend a dime at all maybe gas to drive to the airport I guess um, but with new skin they are they're very innovative just like Apple I have to compare New Skin with Apple. I mean, first, because they're both on Dun & Bradstreet's highest level. So, I mean, you can easily compare them. Um, but they're also comparable because they're very innovative. I mean, with Apple, you're always, you're not really thinking of the current products that they have. You know, you're always thinking, or people are always talking about, okay, what's Apple going to come out with next? What's the next iPhone going to come out with? What's the new software going to come out with? What's the next computer going to have? Is this computer going to have Retina? You know, all these new things, you know, they don't care about the products right now. The consumers care about what's going to happen in the future. And those are the companies that are incredibly profitable, make a lot of money, are the ones that are extremely innovative, come out with new products all the time. So with New Skin, uh, they're doing the exact same. They just came out with these Epic Essential Oils this year. Uh, later this year, they're going to be coming out with Age Lock Me, which is going to be the new um, supplement that's targets those Duke gene clusters, uh, first one in, in the world to do that and make you feel young with energy, all natural and everything. And then next year coming out with Age Lock Me. And Age Lock Me, this thing right here is going to be a game changer. It's going to be the first, world's first personalized custom skincare device. Uh, it has over 500 variations. So, you know, it has these serums and treatments and you can get different mixtures. So you have like an app on your phone and you put your hand in there and it'll tell you, okay, I need this for uh, my acne today. I need this for my wrinkles around my eyes today or something along those lines. So it sends it to the device and makes the personalized treatment and bam, you have your, your personalized uh, treatment for the day. You know, and this thing, they, New Skin invested $30 million in R&D, and they have 12 patents pending on it. So no other company can make this product ever. Uh, that includes Google or Apple or Microsoft. Nobody can make anything like AgeLockMe. So 
Uh, Nathan Ricks here said, Age Lock Me will do to skincare what Keurig did to coffee. And he says that because uh, with Keurig, you know, everybody has one of those coffee machines in their houses, but, you know, they don't make their money from the devices. They make their money from the refills, the Keurig refills, the little coffee K-cups. Uh, I mean, they sell, what, 12 of those for, I don't know, 12 to 15 bucks a box. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of money. And that's where Keurig makes most of their money. And also, like with HP, you know, HP is handing out printers for free, it seems like. But really, they're they're doing that because they're they're making most of their money from their ink. And that's what Age Lock Me is going to come out with here. Everybody's going to have one of these handheld uh, custom skincare devices in their house, but they'll need to keep buying the little uh, treatments, the little packets that you have to refill. And this is going to be a game changer, a huge money maker in the, uh, the skincare business. Um, so a lot of people that listen to this or talk to me or I talk to them, they always like to, to say things like, you know, it's not the right time. You know, I don't have the time for that now. I mean, I started out doing this part-time first, grew into full-time for me, and it's it was an easy transition. So a lot of people say, okay, you know, I'll, I'll start I'll start later. You know, I'll think about it or, or whatever. And, you know, they don't think about all the opportunity that they're going to lose. Because by 2020, the anti-aging industry is going to reach $10 billion just in the Americas region. Just in North, Central, South America, it's going to reach $10 billion in five years. So a lot of people think that, okay, if they start later, um, when they find out that, you know, that's the new business, uh, then they that's how they make money. But if you start now, um, look at all the opportunity that you can make compared to if you start later. I mean, that's a that's billions of dollars in commissions that go out to people, to hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, that's not a lot of people compared to billions of dollars. So you have to think that if you start now uh, compared to starting later, you have to see how much money uh, you're going to lose in that opportunity. Uh, so, I mean, with this, with new skin, it, it changed my life. And what I love to do is I love to travel. Uh, I've been to Europe. I've been to, to North or sorry, to South America, you know, down to Brazil and Argentina, Uruguay. And I love to travel. And that's what this business gave me. That's what new skin gave me. It gave me that freedom to, to go out and see the world at a young age. I can do all of this and work at the same full time. You know, it's, I couldn't imagine, I didn't imagine what uh, I could be doing, but that's what this new skin gave me. And I do not regret it at all one bit. And I also love to help people out achieve their dreams and their goals. You know, if you like to travel too, I want to help you go out and travel. I love to see other people enjoying their lives. So if you love to travel, I want to help you go to Europe or something too. If your dream is to own a Lamborghini, I'm going to help you get a Lamborghini sometime in your life. You know, things like that, I want to help you guys out because I love making people happy. And so that's why the people who invited you to this presentation, um, you should definitely get back to them because they weren't just picking you out of a hat. They weren't just randomly selecting you. Uh, they were thinking of you for a reason. They probably thought that you had a, a good mindset for this business. So please get back to them and, and ask them any questions that you might have. It'll probably be directed back to me, um, which I might answer and talk to you as well in the end. But, um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for your time tonight. And um, I really hope you guys have learned something from this and just spend some time to think about it. And I uh, just want to thank you guys again. Have a nice evening.